Happier Than Ever is the second studio album by American singer Billie Eilish. It was released on July 30, 2021, by Darkroom and Interscope Records. Eilish wrote the album with her frequent collaborator, her brother Phineas O'Connell, who produced the album himself. Eilish cited self-reflection during the COVID-19 pandemic as the biggest inspiration for the album. Primarily a down-tempo pop record, Happier Than Ever is characterized by sparse, jazz-influenced, electropop arrangements set to meditative tempos, departing from the upbeat, trap-led sound of Eilish's debut album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Consisting of torch songs about the downsides of stardom, Happier Than Ever draws heavily from Eilish's rise to fame and the drawbacks that come with it. Upon release, the album received acclaim from music critics, who praised its stylistic, restrained production, and insightful lyrics. At the 64th Annual Grammy Awards, the album and its title track received a total of seven nominations, including Album of the Year, Best Pop Vocal Album, Song of the Year and Record of the Year. Seven singles were released in promotion of the album, My Future, Therefore I Am, Your Power, Lost Cause, NDA, the title track, and Male Fantasy, the first three peaked within the top ten of the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Therefore I Am was the highest charting song from the album, peaking at number two, followed by My Future at number six, and Your Power at number ten. Happier Than Ever debuted atop the Billboard 200 as Eilish's second number one album in the United States, and topping the album charts in 27 other countries. Eilish performed the album's tracks in the Disney and concert film, Happier Than Ever, A Love Letter to Los Angeles, which was released on September 3, 2021. To further promote the album, Eilish embarked on her sixth concert tour titled Happier Than Ever, The World Tour, which ran from February 3 to September 30, 2022. Plot A couple of hours after Christian Vance reveals to Harden he is Harden's biological father, Harden returns to his mother's wedding reception with Tessa, where he confronts her about the deception. Vance tries to explain himself, but Harden storms off with a bottle of whiskey. That evening, Tessa finds a drunk Harden breaking into Trisha's house and setting the place on fire. Harden realizes his mistake and tries to put the fire out, to no avail, but Vance arrives and sneaks Harden out the back to Tessa's car as the fire department arrives. Harden wakes up the next morning and Tessa tells him Vance told the police he had set the fire himself. They drive to a hill where they have sex. Tessa and Harden return to their hotel where she confides in Kimberly, Vance's fiancé, about her problems dealing with Harden's anger issues before discovering Harden has left the hotel. Tessa tracks him down to a party where she finds him drunk and high. She offers him a chance to leave with her, but he declines and she returns to the U.S. Upon returning to her apartment, Tessa finds her father, dead from an apparent overdose. Landon calls Harden dozens of times to let him know before he finally picks up. He returns to Tessa and tries to comfort her, but she hides from him. Harden argues with her mom, Carol, about whether he's good for Tessa and how he always abandons her. Still, Harden, along with Landon, attends Richard's funeral to support Tessa. Harden and Tessa go to a dinner hosted by Harden's dad, Ken, and Landon's mom, Karen, along with Landon and his friend, Nora, to say farewell to Landon as he moves to New York for school, where Nora also lives. After dinner, Tessa brings Harden outside to talk. She tells him they need time apart to heal from their recent family traumas and she's decided to leave Vance Publishing to move to New York with Landon. Harden is hurt by the bombshell and nearly hits Landon out of rage for not telling him, but Landon reminds him he is also Tessa's friend as much as Harden is his brother. Tessa gives Harden an ultimatum that if he loves her, he'll not follow her to New York and let them have their time apart, 
to which he reluctantly agrees. Tessa moves in with Landon and starts working with Nora at a fancy restaurant and Hardin starts going to AA and graduates from university. Months later, Hardin comes to New York for work and Landon offers to host him. Tessa takes double shifts to avoid Hardin, but Landon and Hardin come to her restaurant and request her as their server. Hardin stays until she's off work and they talk about how they've been, Hardin's sobriety and Tessa waiting to get accepted into NYU. Over the next couple of days, they spend time together, slowly reconnecting, during which Landon finally starts a romantic relationship with Nora, much to Hardin and Tessa's happiness. One night when Landon is at Nora's, Tessa and Hardin give in and have sex again. The next morning after Hardin leaves, Tessa finds a book in his bag, titled After, documenting their entire relationship. When Hardin returns, Tessa confronts him about the book, not wanting her life to be published for everyone to read about, but Hardin tells her there's already a bidding war for the book. He had read his journal during therapy and a publisher ended up reading it and everything escalated since. Tessa declares that their relationship is officially over. Some time later, Hardin's book has been named a New York Times bestseller. With not many friends at school and Landon having basically moved in with Nora, Tessa reaches out to Robert, Nora's friend, for company. That night, Tessa sneaks into Hardin's book signing without him knowing so she can listen in. She misinterprets a look between Hardin and a woman and as Tessa leaves, Hardin glimpses her. Cast Josephine Langford as Tessa Young Hero finds Tiffin as Hardin Scott Louise Lombard as Trish Daniels Chance Perdomo as Landon Gibson Rob Estes as Ken Scott Ariel Kebel as Kimberly. Stephen Moyer as Christian Vance. Myra Sorvino as Carol Young. Frances Turner as Karen Scott. Kiana Madeira as Nora. Carter Jenkins as Robert Stokes. Production. Development. In September 2020, a feature film adaptation of After Ever Happy was announced to be in development. Developed at the same time as After We Fell, the films were announced to be directed by Castile Landon with Sharon Soboil serving as a screenwriter. Josephine Langford and Hero Finds Tiffin were confirmed to reprise their roles as Tessa Young and Hardin Scott, respectively. Filming The film entered pre-production in September 2020, prior to the release of After We Collided. Principal photography took place back-to-back -back with After We Fell. In December 2021, Louise Lombard, Kiana Madeira, Chance Perdomo, Rob Estes, and Carter Jenkins were confirmed to have reprised their roles from previous movies. The first teaser trailer was released in December 2021. Photography took place in Bulgaria and wrapped production in December 2020. Landon stated that the novel series Realistic Analysis of Love, drew her to join the production, stating that her intent while directing the projects was to show that romance isn't always beautiful. During production, the cast worked closely together and stayed in a hotel in a more isolated manner, while cameras weren't rolling, due to COVID-19 pandemic restrictions and protocols. Release a private screening for the film held in London was made public after a featurette with Fines Tiffin was uploaded to YouTube by the film's Latin American distributor, Diamond Films. The film was later released in the United States on September 7, 2022. Netflix handled distribution, after successfully handling the international release of the previous movie.